smash dot challenge dot com. There we go. Which I believe I believe I'm a part of. Let me go check and see. That's okay. Oh, yo, we got the bracket. It just got linked in the chat. All right, fantastic. We are still really early in this bracket, so. So, interesting, Bladewise is going the uh, Diddy Kong against DSL. I usually see him uh, go Peach in, or maybe he goes Peach against uh, Project M characters and goes Diddy against Melee characters. I don't know. He has some sort of balance inside of his head about which character he's going to choose. Yeah, and I think it's just a preference-based yeah. thing. And it means, and you know, sometimes you just feel, eh, you know, I, I feel like I can maybe beat this person with any character that are either of my mains anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm. So, you know, I prefer to play Diddy right now. You know, I haven't, I haven't had some Diddy action. You gotta, I gotta scratch that itch. Right. And you never know if, um, wow, Pivot Forward Smash. He's been doing really well. He's been doing a lot of reads with Pivot Forward Smash throughout the day from what I've seen from his Diddy Kong. Um, and the peanut covered the recovery. Wow. And there he goes. Wow, DSL almost lived there. Yeah, hit good DI. That was really that was really great. That <laughs> banana drop shenanigans. Yeah, Z grab to instant Z drop. He did not like the banana you, being placed on there. Did you see that? He got he let down his shield and got hit and picked up the banana as he was like after he got hit. <laughs> I mean It's like I'll just grab this as I'm flying through the air. Bladewise might not have the most tech with uh, how he uses the bananas, but his his mindset when they're on the stage is phenomenal. Great meteor cancel from DSL, that could have been the stock if he had not. Yeah, if he had if he had jumped, that would have been uh, that probably would have stage spiked him. Yeah. Good on DSL for not jumping and waiting to see what else he had up his sleeve. Yeah. Bladewise is so good with down tilt. <laughs> it's one I think it's one of his favorite um, trip punishes for when uh, when he sees people miss the uh, when they miss the tech on the bananas. Or just out of a full dash, apparently. Bladewise hanging out on the edge right now. DSL should be able to close out this stock pretty soon. Grabbed him, didn't quite know what to do with him, said you're definitely too high for an up air. What do I do? Wow, the edge canceled uh, barrel from Bladewise leads into a into a back air immediately, which was able to get seal off the KO. So good stuff to good stuff to Bladewise. He gets so many edge cancels with barrels. It's, it's a little unfair. I wonder if DSL, like, uh, how much experience with PM he has, because in this matchup, uh, up throw up air is your best friend against Diddy Kong, because you can get so many up throws, up throws and up, th up airs chained into each other. And so, like, as a Fox, how is this, how is this matchup versus Diddy? Like, what, is, what does Diddy have on Fox? Uh, you, just like, it's kind of, it's interesting, in a spacey Ditto, you find yourself, or in a Fox Ditto, you find yourself teching shines all the time, right? So you're constantly getting put in knockdown from shine, you're constantly trying to, like, tech chase your opponent. That happens with bananas a lot, so, the same pressure of if you run into a banana, you have to tech and go for an option. So there's a lot of pressure that Diddy can put on from anywhere on the stage uh, with throwing his banana or just having it out. So Fox has to make sure he's getting all of his techs and he has to make sure that he's getting all, th all of his combos because Diddy is not going to give you a lot of opportunities to get in. And Diddy's also the perfect weight. Oh, deep. It's Kozen. Deep Kong. Yeah. Diddy Kong is a great weight. Uh, oh, come on. I want to see the Mario. Yeah, oh, Mario! Sweet. Let's go. DSL. Mario's a, Mario's a good character. Yes. Like, he, he has been nerfed from the 2.0 series. Yep. Uh, Rest in peace, he's, Fireball. But he's still solid. Yep. Rest in peace, Fireball. But DSL mm -hmm. actually has a solid Mario in Melee. So I wonder uh, I wonder how much of that's going to transition over for, uh, for this matchup. I love seeing melee players trying out different characters, though. It's I think it's the best part about Project M is that you can play one of those low tiers that you thought was cool in melee, and you still get the opportunity. And he's finally starting to catch on to Diddy Kong's weight. He is a semi-fast faller or a pseudo-fast, however you want to say it. So uh, down throw combos, up throw combos. You can get some guaranteed setups and follow-ups against Diddy Kong. So practice those follow-ups on multiple DI options. And DSL's finally getting them. Oh, he gets clipped out of his jump though, and he gets clipped out of the up E. Not much you can do there. Seeing more Kung Man grabs from uh, Bladewise, but I got stuffed out by D. The banana! Oh, and he didn't get the cape. Good sweet spot from uh, from Bladewise. Oh, he's got to stay. He can't lose his percent. He cannot lose his percent right now. He's got to stay 
I want to say he should stay under 60% before he loses that stock or before... Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah, he's, he's I think good. he might be respecting the uh, the up B a lot. Uh, Mario specifically can run off Nair really easily to handle Diddy Kong's up B because when you hit when you hit Diddy Kong, it doesn't uh, make the barrels actually well the barrels come out, but they don't knock you away anymore. So it's 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 all okay. It's okay to to just go deep against Diddy Kong when you see him charging those barrels. Mario can uh, do a back air, neutral air. He can even cape it, so or fireball the recovery. And so. I like, I would think caping would be probably the best option in the situation. Yeah, because any any recovery that has to go just all out and it goes right in, like you know, Fox's side B or his up B, like once you commit, you're going. Mm -hmm. Then you can use that cape to reverse them. Oh man, it's too bad the uh, Smashville uh, platform pieced out, but yeah. uh, Bladewise does not contest the ledge and lets DSL get back. Oh, he gets a reverse back air. He wanted to set up for an edge guard. This is looking a lot more even than last game, though. Um, I think that this is a solid matchup for Mario, and now that uh, DSL's getting his combos ready, I think we're going to start seeing some up air strings, hopefully. Down tilt is also really good for Mario uh, in this matchup, because you can get a lot of guaranteed follow-ups against Diddy Kong. Yep. He's so really putting on the pressure right now. He's trying to trip up Bladewise. Gets an early percent Nair. Man, good spacing from Bladewise. Just those shuffled back airs, just doing their job. Not at that part, though. That was unfortunate. He put himself off stage and ended up getting punished for it, holding away. Wow, the trades. Oh, no grab from that. What's uh, is Mario's grab range like decent? It's bad. It's, just, it's bad. He has a really tiny grab range, um, especially if you dash grab. It's just not the grip. It's not the best. The thing is that he has a lot of really good follow-ups off of his grab. So you've mm -hmm. got the semi uh, KO potential of... Oh, he should have up -beat. He has the KO potential with back throw. He has uh, down throw combos a lot of characters with into down smash and up smash and up tilts. Oh, oh wow. Oh, man. All right, all right. Too GG's. deep. That's too bad. 2-0. Blade wise favor. But um, Mario's throws actually have really good follow-ups. And against Diddy... Um, what, back in uh, the MDVA days, when uh, Project M was at Xanadu with Gimmer and all that, uh -huh. you'd frequently see uh, Boss and uh, Diddy Kong in Grand Finals. So 